video i am going to show how to add this year filter section so for this one first we need to create one computer field and then we need to create the facet and then we need to create a one new component that's it only three steps we can go to the uh, first step the first step is creating computer field let me show the computer field here this is the training uh, year so here you can see if you see in the uh, front end this is the uh, i'm returning only the results um, if you see in the front end um, i'm returning only the year section so the return type is string and uh, source field is start start date you can find the source field Yeah, this is my source field um the start date so i have configured this and string format i need only that year so i have defined that string format let's see the code date field okay so um i hope already you are aware about this uh, date format uh, whatever we give in the um, side code section it will uh, it will store the value as a utc value so let's show that if i try to um, set the current value so the time is 2346 means for 1146 uh, okay exactly it's storing 11 um, 46 but if i uh, see the raw value it will show the utc value and raw then start it here you can see year is 2022 then month is 3 30 is our um, date and then 18 and 60 so uh, it's not the correct time it's not the correct time it's the utc time that's it and okay so whenever we uh, take the values we need to convert that value into our uh, server time So first I am taking this value and then source field and here I am converting that particular field value into my server time. So um, it will automatically convert my UTC time into my local mission time. So why I have used this function here and then, then we can go to the step number two, uh, facet creation here. Here I have defined my uh, field name. Yeah. Then third step is we need to create the component. So I am going to create the filter drop down component. Yeah, it's loaded now it's showing the facet for drop down filter is empty let's set the available options data source location and this let's reset the criteria that's it sort by count Then save. So, uh, let's map the facet to my data source location.
air filter and then ear okay ear filter okay then save see the result in front end okay so now we can see okay now we can see the ear filter that's great and let me try one ear it's okay great and i could see um, the default value is not available okay let's configure so we can configure the value here and uh, selected text mm, sample let me give sample i would like to uh, check this remove filter Let's give Okay, now I could see the uh, default value and yeah, the filter name also changed as I remove. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. We have two options for removing the filter. Move this one. Now I'm going to miss this button. Yeah, thank you.